Yo, what is up, guys? It's Hunter here, coming back at you with another valuable video. Um, I'm going to be dropping some sauce on you today. I haven't talked about this trade setup in a long time, but I want to I want to implement it one more time just to kind of give you a brief overview of it. Um, I think it doesn't get talked about enough. Um, but before we get started, what I want you to do is I want you to like this video. I want you to subscribe. Drop in the comment section below what kind of video you want shot. Um, go over there and join us and uh, follow us on Instagram. If you want to talk to me, that you reach me there faster. Um, drop me some charts. I'll grade them. If you don't, if you haven't joined our Telegram, go join it. It's free content. I've been dropping some charts in there. Some, something that you can take with you, that you can copy, that you can, you know, uh, you know, grow as a trader. Look what, um, you know, successful trades look like and things like that. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. Um, I will be talking about the optimal trade entry. Um, shout out to ICT um, for the concepts and, the, you know, the rules and stuff like that. But I just want to run you through a trade uh, through a GBP USD trade. It was really, really successful trade. It was just like textbook. Uh, you couldn't get no better than that. I'll show a few other examples too as well. But uh, I just want to use this one is because you can pretty much stair step exactly what they were doing, right? At, uh, when the trade was uh, per, uh, performing and, and mapping up, right? So um, I'll share my screen. Boom. Um, and you can go back on this day. It was uh, March 28th. Okay. It was GBP USD. Okay. You can see, um, I want to go to the higher time frame um, real quick. And you can see right here, guys. Not only did we have, I want to mark this out, we were bullish, right? And we had all this liquidity up here, okay? I just want to map that out. If we go even higher, you can see that we were chasing where it's at now. And then we had the significant drop, right? I do believe that on the daily time frame, I do believe that we're chasing after these. That we'll eventually go after that. But I was, in my mind, I was bullish at the time. Right, so we go back to the 15, just so you can nail down your bias um, on that day, probably. Okay, right here. So I had the boxes drawn, and you can see this right here. So you can see that we had an Asian, we accumulated a little bit, went up, and then we and then we dropped back down. Right, we set a low in London, and we and we rose back up, but. The thing of it is, guys, is when it rose, this is what I love about leaving a low and it rising, okay? There's two things that happen here that I'm like, okay, I know exactly what they're doing. For one, they left a foot, okay, which is a fair value gap. They left a, they left a footprint right here, okay? Left their footprint, and then they also, let me get rid of this so you know, they also left another footprint right there, by side of the booth, okay? By side of the booth. The beauty about them stopping at this high and pulling in for an optimal trade entry into a fair value gap, giving you all the rules and coming up here to smack this high is because they stopped at this high, right? So. You have two forms of uh, of confluence right here, right off the bat. Number one, other than the higher time frame. Number one, it stops at the high. Okay. Number two, it pulls uh, down into a fair value gap. Then you ask yourself, is this discounted price, right, from this swing all the way to that high? Okay. And it is. It pulls all the way down into the 62%. And if you were to go to the one-minute time frame on this trade setup, okay, Let's just let's just break it down a little minute. Top right. Twenty thirty first. Sorry. Thirtieth. Here we go. Love here. All right. So you can see here that we stabbed into it. You could easily grabbed an entry off of just a fib level, right? Because your stop loss should have been below the low. Okay, and then you sit here, we, we go up, we come back, we sweep that low, barely, but we end up sweeping it. 
that's where I got it. Okay, when I seen the sweep one more time, I know it's relatively equal, but then we go. Okay, and I'm not real once once it sweeps this low, I'm not real big on getting in right away when it leaves kind of relative equal lows. So I like to I like to I like to see it break some structure. So we we, we rose. I haven't entered yet. Okay, I'm waiting for it to break the actual the actual uh, structure that that broke this low which it did sweep it a little bit. So I'm waiting for it to break here. So we end up, we come up there, we stop, jack, I'm like, cool. We break, what did we leave inside this break of structure? We left the fair value gap. So once we've done that, it pulls back into right here, on here. So if you go from this low to that swing, you are discounted on that little, little swing right there. So I, what I did is I put a long position right there, boom. I set below this low so I can get a, you know, not too big of a stop loss because if it came back and hit me, cool. And then I set it to, okay, right there. Actually, my 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 entry is a little bit up further, but two to one. You can see that we completely crushed that two to one. Guys, why I go to two to one, they're easy to hit. They're easy to, they're easy to hit. You only have to have a 32% uh, percent win rate to, to uh, carve out profit, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to have a bigger win rate with this because of you're getting two to one. They're more likely to hit than, you know, most are ours. So, uh, so there you go. That met all the requirements of the OTE. But also I want to show you too, guys, you always got to pay attention to this. Look, check this out. So here's midnight price. This is these little white lines you see. Midnight price right here. Where, where were we at? You were below it. Here's 7.30, which is my time, which is 8.30 Eastern. 7.30, you manipulate down, right, which is cool. We're below midnight, we're below 7.30, 8.30 Eastern. You pull into a fair value gap. That gives us a whole bunch of comforts. When we're, bull when we're bullish, right, you want to buy at or below the midnight and 7.30 price, okay? That's a rule, and everything met requirements. So you're pretty much – Box, 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 check, 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 go, right? What are we chasing? Liquidity. Get your money and get out. That's simple. Let's look at another example. Even right here, I don't have to go to the lower time frame, but you can see. And, guys, I like I like when I have a, um, you know, the, the reason why I was able to get into this trade um, there, there is a rule on OTE. You, you want to have a break of structure, but when I when I see them stop and make and create engineer liquidity, I already know what's about to happen. So when I fell in here, it was this was my only point of entry. So it could have done this. It could have went down, swept, come down, swept this low, and then then went chased after uh, this relative equal high because we were bullish, right? So I won the trade, but. It is a good rule. You can see here, where's midnight price? We come up, 7.30, manipulate down, get below, we hit midnight price. We have a break of structure, okay? Break of structure right there. We're bullish, put our fibs on. You want to be in a discount price. So either at or below equilibrium, okay? Which that was at equilibrium. So you can see here, this was a, the reason why this was so powerful right here is because look what happened. So we pretty much created a break right here. So we had liquidity, we swept liquidity, we broke structure. You can see where we rested at, at the top of that breaker. Okay. And then, so that gave me an extra confidence to be like, okay, equilibrium is good enough. Let me, let me go into the lower time frame and catch an entry. Okay. So let's look up for one more example. And then we'll Cut it. Even even your um, yeah, right here is a perfect example uh, of an OTE entry. Okay, so I know that we were bullish and we're still we're still moving up, but we can uh, let's just let's let's just keep it simple. Let's go to a uh, let's go to a bearish market. Right here. Perfect example. Okay, so we're bearish, right? 
high and high and uh in uh let's go to five minutes. That is the second. Hang on. Okay, cool. Um, but you can see here, we had this high in London. We're, we're definitely bearish, right? At this high, you go down to this low. Look, same thing. Same thing with, with uh, the one, the first example I showed you. This is what I like about it. I do like a breakup structure, but I love it when they create an engineer liquidity. When you know you're bearish and you're chasing after higher time frame liquidity, look at that. I'm going to create equal lows support and i'm going to get people buying right look what we did we pull into what a premium this is what you, your premium you want to be in premium when you're selling you want to be in discount when you're buying right so you can see here we have a fair value gap here we had this order block here because i love the order blocks that leave fair value gaps right so you can see the order block last bullish candle drop fair value gap cool so we come up here we respect that order block right we get into a premium price and then we start to break down and you can execute your trade right there um, for sale right so you could have you could have had you could have put your stop loss above this week here or you want to be safe put it back behind the high and reap the benefits okay 2r it got hit okay so it's pretty simple, guys. OTEs are pretty simple. You can see here, same thing. Same thing. We did have a break of structure. Here's a low. Here's a low. Got a break of structure. Um, put the bids on it. Go to the low. Look where we're at. We pull deeper into, into a uh, premium price. So you can see here, last this last little two bullish candle, right? It's probably one on the 15th. Uh, between these three candles, and you can see here, what did it leave after the, the bullish candle, right? For value gap, for value gap, for value gap. You pull into a premium price, boom. I would be a little scared to take this one, you know, being an OT based off these relative equal highs, but you can see here that those relative, this pool, this inducement pulled into a point of interest, right? Which was this order block right here from the previous day. Right with a fair value gap, which it did here. Okay, respected drop of structure from the back, gave them off of the trade entry. Right, you can even have. So here's another one, right here, from this high that it created to that low. Okay, was into a discount. It's a point of interest. Set. Right, that's how my scalping strategy works, guys. I'm on the one minute time frame with this same example. Kind of like this right here. So I like an OTV pull back into, let's just say we're selling. We're on the one minute time frame. Um, my narrative is, I'll, I'll do a video on this. I'll get really detailed on the scalping trade. So like, this is just an example. So my narrative is to chase, let's just say I'm in a move and my narrative is to chase this sell side liquidity. Okay. And let's just say um, this is the one minute time frame. Okay. And we're, we, we, we drop down, pull back, right? What I like to see, this is the reason why I keep the um, TDI on my screen, right? So I get a pull back into a premium, into a point of interest with a sharp pin, I sell. That's my scalping strategy and on the one minute time frame and the five minutes. So this right here. And then boom, what do we chase? We haven't hit the, the objective. That's what makes this trade sweet. Right. So with that, guys, I hope you got value out of that. It's a really simple process. Don't make optimal trading entries. Don't make trading in general uh, hard. It's simple. The more simple that you can get, the better your trading is going to be. I promise you. Stop searching out there for all this stuff. There's nothing new under the sun. Think about that. There's nothing new under the sun. You keep going to YouTube, searching every day, right? It's not there. That 100%, 90% strategy, it's not there. It's not. It doesn't exist, okay? 
the 90% strategy win rate comes within you, right? How detailed are you going to get? How consistent are you going to get? How disciplined are you going to get? That's how the, that's how you win 90% of the time. If, the, if, if, if that happens, I'm sure it's out there. It's just somebody being really detailed with the trade. Okay. Um, with the strategies that are already out there, nothing new under the sun, like I said. So with that guys, hope you got value. Like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe so we can keep the videos rolling. Go join the telegram. I'm dropping charts over there. Um, go to and follow us on Instagram. Ask me some questions, drop some charts. Let's get it rolling. Keep picking and dipping. Keep <laughs> pipping and dipping, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.